Hello everybody and welcome back to Crossroads Rebuild. My name is Steven, just in case you've forgotten over the last few months uh, since my last video. It's spring here in Indiana, although as you can see I'm wearing a coat. It certainly doesn't feel like spring today. We've had freezing temperatures last night, supposed to be again tonight. Really looking forward to the real spring weather starting soon. Anyway, I am back with a video where I am hoping to give you an update. We're living in weird times and so many of you are stuck at home right now. I hope everybody's healthy. Uh, but right now in this video, I want to give you an update of what I've been up to, kind of the status of some of my projects, and then also show you some things I've got coming up. Over the next few weeks, I'm actually planning to get into several of my upcoming projects. Even though I haven't been able to work on many of them over the last little while, I have been uh, planning for and uh, getting parts and even some new vehicles to work on as well. So I kind of want to give you a little teaser of what's to come as well as give you an update on some of my past projects like the Interceptor you see behind me and uh, tell you what's coming up for Crossroads Rebuild. I hope you'll enjoy this video. Stay tuned and follow all the way through so you can see what we've got coming. Well probably one of the best places to start is right here with the Interceptor. As you can see it looks basically done. There are a few little odds and ends uh, that still need to be done and uh, I'm going to get into all of that in a new video. In fact the very next video that you'll see is all about the Interceptor. It's actually the last video that I recorded before all of this happened and uh, actually I recorded it a few months ago. Um, I've actually put over 5,000 miles on this vehicle since, since getting it to this point. It has worked uh, flawlessly. It's been very, very reliable. And as you can see, uh, it's looking very, very nice other than uh, a few little unfinished details that you can see down there. Uh, but I haven't shown you the last video that I made about this, which was kind of getting it to this point. And then actually in that video, I also show you taking it on its first road trip. I took it from here in Indiana uh, across to Maryland where I have family living this past fall. So I have this upcoming video showing you uh, getting this vehicle to this point and then also the first road trip. And just a spoiler alert, it did very, very well. So after I show you that video that I recorded a few months ago, I have another video coming out where I want to wrap up up a few last uh, details on this thing and get it completely done and tell you what my plans are for it going forward. Well, moving right next to the Interceptor here, you see my BMW 330xi. I've had this vehicle now for a couple of years. Uh, you may recall this was, I believe, the second video I bought for this channel and rebuilt, and uh, it has been a great vehicle. It is a very high mileage vehicle. It's an 06 330xi, and uh, it's got almost 195 thousand miles on it and uh, I've done a few maintenance videos on it um, just kind of showing you keeping it up to date uh, but really there's not a lot left for me to do on this trying to debate right now whether we're going to keep it for a while or whether we'll uh, move on to something else but my wife really enjoys driving this car uh, so for the time being it's going to hang around uh, but uh, so there's not much to show you on this other than to say it's still here and it's doing very very well uh, I'll tell you about that one here in just a little while. We're going to go ahead and take a, a walk across the yard here, and I want to show you a few things I've got parked on the other side of the yard. All right, it's a little bit windy over here, so I hope you can hear me okay. Uh, so over here, I've got parked uh, a number of vehicles in varying states of, uh, need, of work needed. And uh, so let me go ahead and explain this to you. Uh, I'm sure my neighbors will be looking forward to me getting these vehicles worked on so that, uh, my, that my side yard doesn't look like a junkyard. Well, let's go ahead and start right over my shoulder here uh, with that Jaguar. Let's go take a look at it. Well, this is a 2005 Jaguar XJ Vandenpla, uh, a very, very, well, it used to be a very high-end car, uh, was very expensive when it came out, and as you can see, it's looking kind of dilapidated right now. It is a clean title vehicle. It does run and drive, although not well, uh, but I have plans for this. I actually am going to do a little bit of a mini series here on the channel uh, that will be centered around this car. So here's the story with the Jag. I was thinking it'd be very interesting to do a, a little mini series here with you guys on YouTube, uh, kind of showing you another way that IAA and Copart auctions can be used uh, to buy yourself a vehicle. Of course, we know that well, here on YouTube, including this channel, most of the vehicles you see coming from the auctions are salvage title and they are uh, in need of repair uh, before they're put back on the road. Well, like I said, this is a clean title car. So the idea is this, can I buy what used to be a very expensive luxury car and turn it into a cheap, 
clean title daily driver. Well, that certainly remains to be seen, doesn't it? Uh, like I said, this car does run and drive, but it needs a lot of work. So I'll have a video coming up pretty soon showing you all the good, the bad, and the well, let's just be honest, the ugly of this Jaguar XJ and what my plans are for it. And we'll see if I can actually turn this car into a reliable daily driver that I got for a fraction of the price this car would have cost just a few years ago. So stay tuned for that series coming up. I think you'll be excited about it. I'm certainly looking forward to it. And of course, please do wish me luck. All right, well, so this is a mid-2000s Honda Civic Hybrid one of the world's most boring vehicles. And actually that car right over there underneath the uh, car cover is also a mid 2000s Honda Civic Hybrid. Um, I am going to do a whole video about this and uh, tell you why I have these two cars. Uh, spoiler alert, uh, well, I made a mistake. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a video telling you the story of why I have these two Civics uh, and hopefully allow you to learn from my mistakes so you don't uh, make the same mistake as me. And uh, in that video, we'll also go ahead and get this car ready. I do have someone who wants to buy the car. It is a run and drive car, uh, so I need to get it ready for them. Uh, but aside from that, just be probably one video telling you what I did wrong there and uh, hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. All right, and sitting over here at the end of the line of dilapidated cars is my 2014 Ford F-150. I have been wanting a new shop truck for a while and uh, I've been looking at a lot of things that were far more expensive and bigger than this, uh, but I ultimately decided that uh, I didn't need what I was looking at, and an F-150 would do about 99% of anything I would want to do. So I went ahead and bought this 2014 Ford F-150. This is an XLT, uh, super crew, four-wheel drive, and uh, well, I'm looking forward to getting into this project. As you can see, it's pretty beat up, got sideswiped on this side and uh, pushed into something over on this side. So honestly, this damage is worse than the other side where the accident started. Uh, and I will have a video coming up very, very soon about this. Uh, this is actually the project I'm the most excited to get into because I have missed having a truck in my life. I've actually owned a number of Ford F-150s in uh, the last few years, including one from this era. And some of you may remember from some of my older videos. I've had uh, some older F-150s more recently, but uh, I'm very excited to have this one to get it rebuilt. And uh, in the next video about this truck, I'll give you the whole backstory. I'll show you a little more in depth uh, what this truck is gonna need as well as what my plans are for it. So I hope you're as excited about this F-150 rebuild as I am. This is a true salvage title rebuild truck and uh, I'm very excited about it. So that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video for today. Those of you who are my OG uh, subscribers, you've been with me for the last couple of years, you'll recognize where I am. Of course, I'm at home. This is where my first couple of videos with the Fusion started. And this is where my next few videos, while we're all still in quarantine and, and having to stay home, this is where my next few videos will be shot from. Like I said, my next video will actually be the last video I recorded on the Interceptor. It's back at the old shop. I recorded it last fall. So it's a few, a few months old, uh, but I think it's still relevant you'll be very interested to see it. So stay tuned for that. It'll be coming very, very soon. So then I have the Jaguar series starting and I hope you're looking forward to that, uh, that series where we'll dig deeper into that Jag and see if we can turn it into a reliable daily driver. I'll have a video coming sometime soon uh, telling you about the Civics and hopefully a lesson you can learn from me. And then the one I'm the most excited about is getting into that F-150 rebuild. Super stoked about that. And I cannot wait to have uh, a reliable F-150 in my my life again and uh, I'll show you some of the things that I've got planned for it as well. In addition to these vehicles I've showed you today, I do have one or two other projects uh, that I'm kind of planning. Don't have any vehicles yet, but some things that I'm planning and hoping to get into soon. And then once we can get out of this quarantine situation and I can get back in the shop, I still have that Mercedes from uh, of last year that I need to get wrapped up as well. It's very, very close, just a few things left to do, uh, but I kind of got sidetracked with the Interceptor and haven't worked on that in a while. So I'm looking forward to getting that project done as well. So thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you are healthy at home, wherever you might be in the world. I hope you're healthy and uh, I'm looking forward to the time when all of this uh, will be behind us and we can get back to our new normal. If you haven't already done so, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and then click the bell so that you can be notified when new videos come. Like I said, I've got several plans, so stay tuned for those. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next video.